Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the What Kind of Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. Today we'll be looking at a 72nd British Achilles 17 pounder tank destroyer from the Second World War. Now this is uh, a tank destroyer that uh, the M10 model from the uh, United States and uh, pretty much the uh, cannon was replaced with a British uh, field gun giving it a lot more uh, penetration power I would imagine. This uh, came in a biscuit box and in this uh, very bright orange uh, very crappy brittle resin with uh, a few metal pieces and these um, ghastly little uh, figurines. I got into a real resin tank height uh, earlier this year and uh, bought them from all sorts of uh, suppliers including some nice high-end bits and pieces as well as uh, lower-end uh, stuff from eBay, uh, this being one of them. The sculpt, I've got no complaint whatsoever, maybe a bit inaccurate and details here and there, not too worried. The casting is uh, not too crash hot, a lot of bubble holes here and there, just chunks of uh, detail missing. We have two major resin pieces, the hull and the turret. Luckily the turret um, has as much intact as humanly possible. The uh, hull not so likely. Uh, the rest is the uh, middle bits, the uh, metal machine gun and uh, field gun did not bother with the figures. They were soaked in a solution of uh, water and detergent, scrubbed and dried multiple times, then rinsed in water to get all release agents off them. Now what troubled me and suggests that this is probably most likely a home garage kit operation is this gigantic chunk of uh, resin in between the uh, two tracks to make the uh, one piece. This was very troublesome, uh, messy to uh, clean up and uh, did make a ultra massive mess which I oh, won't uh, be grinding that much resin using a Dremel indoors again. Made this uh, large half pipe, uh, cut off the excess plastic which is shattered and broke and caused all sorts of problems to expose the uh, wheels and uh, puttied them and uh, re-putty them again to get a flat bottom. It was the most uh, time consuming and frustrating element. Uh, further on, the wheels on the side suffered major air bubbles with entire wheels just being absolutely annihilated and a couple of holes in the hull. Uh, this is quite easy after priming once we were able to uh, etch things such as putty to the resin. Uh, the resin itself did not want to uh, touch putty for some reason. We were able to uh, crudely sculpt on some wheels. Please bear with me, uh, certain parts of the video will be explained out of sequence. But uh, after cleaning initially the resin, it was of uh, a very sort of dusty or sandstone disintegrate quality and needed to receive a coat of uh, primer to seal everything. I used Mr. Surface 500. Once that was uh, coated on, a few coats for a little micro filling, I was able to see what I needed to sand, neaten up the uh, surface, uh, very, very rough and grainy, and all the uh, little armor holes, the uh, bubbles, the wear, everything that needed to be uh, cleaned up. This meant that uh, putty, and other products will be able to be adhered to instead of on the rare resin. The process of applying primer, putty, sanding, everything back to bare resin, priming and adding putty to sand back again, occurred two to three times to memory until I was able to achieve a somewhat satisfactory uh, surface to have a final coat of uh, primer and preparing to paint. Using acrylic 
I coated the entire kit for a look in NATO green to memory and hand painted all the details such as the machine gun, the uh, inner um, ammunition, tracks, grills and uh, whatnot. Everything received a sludge wash and fine uh, dry brushing. A little bit of uh, shading as this model looked uh, extremely dull. On the edges, uh, post shading of a tiny bit of sand and dirts around the tracks. Kind of made the um, everything pop a bit. As well as the application of United States decals and the weathering of those. And uh, within a few month hiatus as I had just the bare base paint finished just before the Gunpla Builders World Cup finished uh, the touch-ups in the past week and got myself a finished model now considering that uh, the sculpture and the proportions of the kit is pretty damn nice but unfortunately the quality of the resin was uh, the very worst I've ever worked with I was uh, warned of a porcelain uh, disintegrity style resin on it's very poor very ancient uh, garage kit uh, this is the first time I've uh, experienced it I'm glad it's on something as not complicated and small as uh, this so definitely it's a, an experience I've uh, gathered uh, I, I most likely could have and really wanted to abandon it at multiple points but really happy that I've uh, finished I'm also extremely uh, pleased with the amount of faults, especially the underneath um, massive uh, cube of uh, resin underneath the tracks and the missing wheels and holes and whatnot. All of that was uh, successfully cleaned up and masked with uh, primer and putty, as well as giving it enough of a half decent paint job to make this uh, pop and stand on its own. This is pretty much a, a very rare model from a time gone past of uh, garage kits that's uh, going to be a fairly unique addition to my 72nd armor collection and a fairly unusual and very interesting looking subject matter. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time. The past few armor reviews may have seen um, negative but after i've had a bit of a hiatus from military models i've uh, built a heap during the mecha workshop meetings and not painted them due to the major focus on the gunplay builders world cup i'm going through uh the six seven that i've uh, had built and i'm generally going through uh what i've enjoyed the least in the build process to more fun kits so very shortly the uh, models that I've uh, snapped or built recently and need to be painted is going to be coming up very shortly in the next few weeks to a uh, couple of months. So definitely stay in tune for that and as well as more armor models I will be building in the future. Trust me I've got like over a hundred of them somewhere. Catch you guys next time and if you've got any requests holler out.